I like little front half up styles and so today's tutorial will show you just that with Dutch lace braids and messy buns. We are going to start by sectioning the thir a third of the hair right up front. This is what will make our Dutch lace braids and our messy buns. From here I'm going to take the rest of the hair and clip it off so it's out of the way. I'm going to come back to the top section and split it down the middle. From here I'm going to take these two sections and split them down the middle again. Um, the section on the far right I am going to hold off with a clip since we're not going to use it right now. And then this big section on the left I'm also going to clip off so it's out of the way. This little middle section is going to be our first lace dutch braid. Now if you don't know how to dutch braid, I've got a tutorial down in the comments below. This dutch braid we're only going to be taking hair from one side. So the hair will come under and then under again and then I'll simply take hair from the left side on this first dutch braid. So this is our right braid that we're doing. We're taking the hair from the left side only when I cross the left hair under. So right hair comes under then left hair comes under, add a strand of hair, right hair comes under, left hair comes under, add a strand of hair. Because this is a lace braid, I am keeping it pulled to the right or right next to that right side part line. Um, I hope that makes sense, it's kind of hard to explain. Um, once I've got this braid done, I'm going to secure it with an elastic and then I'm going to comb out the hair that's just to the right of it and with the, this hair and the braid, I'm going to secure it with an elastic. I pull the elastic through the last time. I'm just going to pull a small loop of hair just a couple inches. So when we go to the left side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to part out an area um, to the left and to the right. On this right side, I will do another lace Dutch braid. But this time when I add in hair, I'm going to add it in from the right. So right side under, um, and then I'll add a strand of hair to the right, left side under, and then right side under, add a strand of hair, and then I will just continue this all the way down the braid. So right under, add a strand of hair, left under. Right under, add a strand of hair, left under. You'll do this until you run out of hair and then again I'm going to add an elastic and then I'll take this other little section of hair and comb it out um, and add it to my braid. It just gives it kind of a fun effect. Again the last time I pull the elastic around I'm just going to leave a, a little loop of hair. From here I'm going to take the tail of the hair and wrap it around this loop and then I'm going to fan my little loop out and this will make our messy bun. I'll put an elastic around and then I'm just gonna kinda tug at the sides. Now, it's better if you keep your loops smaller rather than bigger. You can always kinda pull the hair out to make the messy bun um, a little bit wider and bigger. But if you start with a loop that's too big, then the messy bun ends up being kind of floppy. So with these little mini messy buns up front, you wanna kinda keep it small. And that is our finished style. She's actually worn this style a few times. Um, it's one of my favorites. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.